Okay, today what we've got is the third in the series. Today we are dealing with 12 gauge coach gun. Now, these are short, they only have a 20 inch barrel, but they do weigh just a little more than what we would like. These come in 20 gauge or 12 gauge, this particular model. What I really like about them is simplicity. And I told you before, if you're going to be out somewhere where you can't get parts, you want the fewest moving parts possible. This model has it. Now, you can get 12 gauges that have internal hammers. I like the external because it gives you things, if something would go wrong inside, that you can still bang or whatever. And I like to know when it's actually cocked and when it's not. I did measure this one. And the left barrel is 30 thousandths of an inch smaller than the right barrel. So you need to remember that whenever you're going to be shooting pumpkin balls or slugs in it. So check that when you buy it to make sure what it will and will not shoot. What I like about a 12 gauge, especially these for survival, you can get just about any type of shell that you want to cover the need. You can get pumpkin balls. Sabots, double watt buckshot, trip watt buckshot, number four, number five, number six, seven and a half, eight, flares, dragon's breath. I mean, they just put just about anything possible into a shotgun shell on some of these exotic websites. And this thing will shoot them. All right. The right hammer. Shoots the right barrel and is activated by the front trigger. Left hammer does the left barrel. It's the rear trigger. All right. Or you can pull them both at the same time. Just remember, it's got a lot more kick. All right. It has a built-in safety. The good news is, is the gun does break down very easily. So you can put it into the backpack. Just pull this off. Flip this. And it comes into nice sections fit into your backpack. All right. The downside is, like I said, it's a little heavier. And the ammo is a lot bigger than what your 22 or your other over and unders will do. This one does have built in carry straps. I've added a fiber optic front sight to it. Okay, stay tuned. We're going to go over our next gun, which is going to be our H&R handy rifles. Thank you.